Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of 10 young adult romance books, soon to be one new adult romance book. And welcome back to my channel. I tried something new, okay? I, listen, <laughs> we look a little crazy. It's okay. Hey, hi, hello. It's been a hot minute. Also like literally hot because I'm roasting in here. I don't know when last day I posted a video was. It's been weeks. I think three by the time you're seeing this video. Whoops. Before we dive in fully to my talk and then the vlog itself and then where we ended up, I did want to talk really quick about a brand called Ana Luisa. I've worked with Ana Luisa in the past. They have sent me jewelry in exchange for me just sharing it with you guys. And I have been in desperate need of new new jewelry. So when they reached out, I said, heck yes. My earrings that I always wear are actually from Ana Luisa and the necklaces I always wear are also from Ana Luisa. We have new ones to go through. Hang on, let me go open this. In the US, they have fast and free shipping. Exchanges are super easy with the free shipping and exchanges and they have a worry-free guarantee where you can leave all your worries at the door with their two-year warranty on all products. The quality is seriously unmatched. So we got quite a few necklaces this time. I'm just so excited because honestly, the necklaces are one of my favorite things. And it looks like these can be layered, um, which I'm obsessed with. I love layered necklaces. This one though is so, so adorable. So cute, look at it. So I'll have a code in the description box down below. Make sure you don't miss out. I swear, Anne Louise's jewelry is like one of the best that I've ever like worn. I feel like the pieces just look so pretty and sophisticated. Right now they're having a 25% off sale for Mother's Day, so it's the perfect opportunity to buy something to treat your mother, treat a bestie, or treat yourself. I'll have a link down below so you guys can go check it out. Don't miss out on the sale. I'm the kind of person that likes to wear a necklace like for days and days and days until she gets sick of it. So now I have like so many that I can just alter between and I love it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go check out the sale to get me a pair of earrings to go with these beautiful necklaces, so don't miss out. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sending me these pieces and let me know if you check out the sale using my link down below. Oh, we're zoomed. It's the way that I literally have my live stream in 10 minutes and my internet is not working again. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna lose my mind, I'm gonna lose my marbles. I have a ladder in the middle of my kitchen, don't ask. So it wasn't working this morning and I noticed it on my phone because I turned my Wi-Fi off of my phone all day today. Oh, hang on a second. Hello? I don't have, a, oh yeah, I, was, I don't have anything to write down with. Okay. I thought it, I, I thought it was on my phone, but I, uh, Turned off the Wi-Fi on my phone and it was working fine and I never thought anything of it. And on my I've, all morning I have been reading Wonder Friends 4 so I haven't even been on my laptop. It's not working. And I'm going to lose my mind. Okay. So. Stream's done. Feels good to have it done. Wi-Fi is still not working. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing because that means I have now nothing to distract me from doing my editing. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I'm too introverted for this for YouTube for like I feel like I need like a whole business day to recover <laughs> like the live stream was very nice it was very fun it was nice talking to everybody but the but how literally drained I feel <laughs> my mom came over and we talked and she paid the phone me so she just left she's gonna like, bring me back some dinner which is very sweet of her okay I'll check in at some point <laughs> hey hi hello it's a different day I think it's the next day, to be honest. I said I was going to update you last night. I didn't. Um, I did something else instead, and I'm not going to show you right now. I'll show you later. I've been editing this morning, though, a little bit. Um, it's like while we got her hair trimmed. You can't really see too much of a difference. Um, I asked them to keep it long, but to just trim her face, um, her feet, and her booty. So you really can't see much of a difference, but she's very cute. Um, the eclipse is happening in, like, an hour and a half crazy yeah but we got a haircut i figured out the problem with the internet and i got groceries this morning so crazy and some editing has gotten in has gotten has been done we've done that yeah not a lot but i hope tonight is going to be more productive tomorrow is my birthday so i'm not really anticipating a ton getting done but hopefully because i said friday was my that was gonna be finished by and that's not the case oh also no video monday because uh like i said the internet was down so I couldn't upload a video and 
I'll show you what I did because I can explain my injury. So you know my my CDs, my CD wall over there. So I took them down to re like to move them around, and I to pull off a command hook, you have to pull the little tab, the little glue tab, and then the hook itself pops off. Now, I was dumb, and instead of using both hands to do this, I was using one hand to pull it off, and then the other hand to hold all of the little, like, hooky things. And so, it would pull off, and, and the hook would smack into my knuckle each time. And I'm like, okay, I put it into my hand. And once I got finished, my hand really, really hurt, and I didn't think anything of it. But I was like, ow, 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 but, you know... I finished, I looked, I had cut my whole knuckle open because I was doing that repeat repetitively. So yeah, <laughs> so that's why you have a band-aid. But I just spoiled what I did, and so I'm going to show you what I did. I didn't vlog it because I did it impulsively last night, and I didn't have pants on. So <laughs> look at this, friends. Oh, look at it, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's so uniform and ugh, it's everything the original CD wall wanted to be. The other shelf is over here, which I don't know if I love, but we're keeping it like this for now. But I do love this. I mean, these, they're okay, they're cute, but this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay? The PC wall, how cute would it be here? And all this empty space. I am a little bit alarmed though, because I'm thinking like, what if it doesn't all fit? It would still be cute. So I haven't done it yet, but just this giant stack that still needs to go up. And then the PC wall. I need to reorganize the shelf, put the other stuff back, but that is what we did last night. I know, well, I know what you're thinking. When you should have been editing, Sarah. I will be honest, YouTube. YouTube for this exact reason hurts my soul a little bit sometimes. It's just, it's just so, it's just so, ugh. Okay, I feel like I need, I'm getting scolded. Also, look how beautiful this picture is. Look at him. Well, you only got to look at him for a second. Hi, this is Denise. Leave a message Let's try Papuli. I think he's gonna answer. I think he's gonna, he usually does. Hello. Hello. Are you with I, mom? I forgot. Do you remember when she told me to leave my house? The clips part is supposed to be right around 3 o'clock. Wherever you're going to be, you want to be there by then. Where are you going to be? I may or may not be there. <gasps> be so we're not going to experience the end of the world together? You know, what? Oh, like the, uh, the dawn of the dead. Uh, oh, that was a comment, wasn't it? This could still raise the dead. You don't know. Yeah. Anything could happen. That'd be cool. We should all be together in case the world ends. Yeah. If it ends, there's not a real reason to find our bodies. So, you know, because there's nobody going to be able to find them. So it doesn't really matter. But if we're not together, what if like only a section, like a, a, we don't all, what if we die, but you live? <laughs> That's why we need to all be together. Okay. My, my logic makes sense. <laughs> Say it like this. My logic is undeniable. My logic is undeniable. That's from a movie. Yeah, I know. You don't have any original quotes. I do. But why when I can borrow them? Yeah, when you can, when you can rip them off. From my plethora of experience in movie quotes. It's gonna... If I die, then... Won't you just be turned into a zombie and then... Just to be around. What if the path of totality, like if you were in it, what if it turned you into a zombie? Right. Zombies. I wonder if anybody had any books like come out recently that it was about something like that. Like because of the eclipse was coming up and there was some kind of science-y thriller could, kind of a thing. I could see a book coming after. I just don't think people would have had enough time to write a book about it. Well, I mean, no, they knew this. they knew this was coming for years. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I just learned about it last month. <laughs> Pancho, you have to come to Grandma's because you have to see Bobo's haircut. Hey, hey, hello! PC wall's in the process of coming down, so that's why it looks a little 
like bald spotty. But hey, hi, hello, I'm Sarah Sun. I have no idea what footage I got. It's Wednesday. We've been editing up a storm. We're no, we're not close to being done. We're getting there, you know? I've got all day t today. I've got, a, I've got some tomorrow. So, no worries yet. Also, ow. I probably have a mandate on this. I door dashed lunch as a belated birthday gift to myself. Um, so I'm waiting on that. I wanted to come on and say, um, I'm no longer doing the book signing at there's Barnes & Noble near me. I was doing a book signing in May. It was May 18th. It was called Young Adult Day. It got canceled um, a month-ish before <laughs> the signing due to scheduling conflicts and staffing constraints. They were unable to accommodate such an event. But they're doing an event in July, so like, I don't know. I, I just feel a little bit, as a young adult author, I feel like a smidgen slighted. Just because I think they also canceled a fantasy event that they had planned for, I think it was June. So they had, they had Young Adult Day in May, a fantasy event in June, and a Summer of Love in July. And they had a Spring Into Romance in April that they just did. Um, so the Spring Into Romance did so well or they also decided to do a summer of love. So that's both young that's both adult romance. So they canceled the young adult day and the fantasy day but kept both of the adult romance days. And I just felt a little bit like I don't know. I was really excited as a young adult author to meet other young adult authors and have an event for young adult authors. When I had done the signing with Bar with that same Barnes Noble back in August, that was like one my one complaint. It was fun, but I would have really loved to have been there for the correct audience because I feel like I was not correctly placed. Like I shouldn't have been there. So I was really excited. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. Okay, I'll be honest. I say I was really excited. I was. Um, I was excited for to meet the people, the other authors, and I was excited to be surrounded by other young adult authors. However, I'm an introvert, and I was I was really, really panicked about it as well. It was going to be a great opportunity to like connect with other people, and I am a very much so a recluse, I feel like, um, that I just don't really get out of the house. I don't meet people, um, hardly ever. <laughs> And I don't, I definitely don't meet people in the writing community or the author community. So I was really excited for that, even though I was nervous and stressed about going into it from an introverted side of things. So it's a bummer. I'm really, really glad I hadn't bought my materials yet, like bookmarks and character art and stuff, because I literally was just about to tomorrow when my Fiverr payment cleared. <laughs> so I'm really glad about that <laughs> because I definitely cannot afford to have materials for no reason. And I, I think what makes me feel slighted is th or makes it feel like not as great is that um, they sent the email canceling the young adult event and a half hour later they're posting to their social media talking about their summer of love event. And I'm like, well, I hope that one is, I hope you can accommodate that one, <laughs> friends. <laughs> I don't know what's different, but <laughs> okay. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I am not um, signing there next month because I actually do know I had a few people reaching out to me on Instagram um, saying that they were excited to see me there um, and asking for more information about that um, but it is no longer happening so bummer all around but I'm hoping that you know I, it just was not meant to be and I, I really do have that mindset about a lot of things if something doesn't work out it just wasn't meant to be I don't know what chapter I'm on editing wise but we're getting there we're getting there I'm 25 y'all 25. Ew. I'm not that that's bad. I mean, if you're older than 25, that's fine. I just, for me. I feel like I'm 22, you know? I feel like I'm just a 22-year-old with eye bags. I don't feel like a 25-year-old. 25 just sounds mature and sophisticated, and she's got her life together, and I don't. Yes, I don't. I wanted to check in. I wanted to mention that because it just happened, and I was just thinking about it, so... Um, that is that. I haven't done the reread for Adam and Leak yet. I haven't started it yet. Um, so we need to start that because I need to talk about it on Sunday. Which I was also thinking about it today. I have to start promoting, like, the title reveal for it. And, like, figuring out how I want to promote it. Like, what angle. It feels exhausting. It all feels so tiring. I think it feels tiring because I literally have to push myself to do it. Like, I have not 
Yeah, I didn't sound right. What is what is not money? That's what I want to say, but the I guess my, uh, uh, money is a factor, but I don't want to say money. I want to say income. I don't know. Some some I uh, can't. It's it's the synonym for money, but it's not the word I'm trying to look for because money is too obvious. But money is what's like. It's like a pressure right now. When money is a pressure ever, that is like the worst thing. It sucks. Um, it especially sucks for a creative soul like myself. Um, and I, it just makes everything even like more difficult when I think about like, oh, how do I want to promote this? All this, all that stuff. It just makes it tougher, you know, makes it tougher. My dog is being very quiet. Puppy. Uh, my cousin, she went to Savannah, Georgia and she got these pralines that I had tried when I was down there with Autumn, I literally have not been able to stop thinking about them since. That was a lie. I, I, that's It wasn't literally, but so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So good. I'm not a nuts girly, but this is good. Probably because there's chocolate. Something else I was going to say? I don't know. Oh my goodness, my friends. I have been editing up a storm this morning. It is a 1.15. I don't know when I started. Early. Maybe like 9.30. Oh. <laughs> the under eyes are taking a beating as we attempt to get this done. It's unfortunate. We are getting there. Very slowly but surely. Well, not slowly but surely. We actually, we're making great progress. Um, so I had told myself last week that I wanted to be done by tomorrow. It's not going to happen, but we're very close now. Um, and I keep saying that, you know, and it's embarrassing. I don't, I don't care. Judge me if you want. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I care, so please be nice. I think I came on though because I wanted to say that it's kind of funny to like watch the scenes that, oh my God. That is so puffy, and I'm not even smiling or nothing. <laughs> um, it's funny that the scenes that I had written for like my first draft, um, it's funny to see how a lot of times the scenes work, they just don't work in the right order that I had put them in. Or like the paragraphs in the scenes, they're good and they're good paragraphs, but they just don't work in the order that I had put them in. So it's almost like I can copy and paste, like cut, and paste the paragraphs in different orders and it works like perfect. It's it's really funny how that, I caught that happening a few times as I was editing this morning. Like the paragraphs in the scene were good, they just weren't in the right order to have the proper impact. So when I was fixing it, I'm like, it's kind of weird <laughs> that I had written what needed to be written and it's good. I had just written it not in the, best order. Do you know what I mean? I like that part of editing where you can take the bones and like fit, fit, like fit them around to fit better. I really enjoy that part of editing when it's nice and easy. Um, the part of editing I don't enjoy is when like I have no idea what's happening next. But I do think I'm in a solid spot in terms of what is happening next and stuff. So that is nice that we are Chugging along with that. Then I have, I've stopped in the middle of a scene because Bomi woke up and I am ready to go upstairs and take my own nap. I stopped in the middle of a scene. I have this scene to finish and then one more. I am over halfway through this document that I had written through before I stopped and went back to the beginning. I think I have about 25% until I get to the bottom of this document and then we have the last 30% to edit slash write. So it is a slow, it, it's, it's, it's getting there. I do have client work tonight. Did I say that? And it's also in my top tier. Um, so I don't know how long it'll take me, but that is something that has to get done tonight. So that takes priority. So it might not get, we might not get a good chunk in tonight after now. I do have all day tomorrow. Um, my next client work isn't due until the 18th. So we do have, oh, it's like a week from today. So we do have time. Bear with me in terms of like these YouTube videos. Uh, Mondays I missed because my Wi-Fi was being stupid, but 
Um, I am editing this book takes priority. It has to take priority over everything else. So it's taking priority over Instagram. It's taking priority over YouTube. So that is why I haven't really been posting on Instagram. Um, that is why sometimes the YouTube videos might be delayed. Upload skipped because this just has to take priority. But I just want, I hope you can bear with me for this. Um, but And I hope you're enjoying the editing series that we've got going on. Even though I haven't really been classifying it as a series. Um, these videos about editing. But no, I'm ready for a nap. I don't even, I don't know how well I slept last night either. I went to bed at 1.30? And then woke up at 6.30. Bobby, you ready for a nap, baby? She's really good about when, if I lay down upstairs, she'll lay down. Like, even if she's not tired, even if she's been sleeping all day, she still will lay down and just, just lay there. So, I'm not worried about her. I haven't gone to a coffee shop in a few days. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. Okay, that was a nice check-in. Hopefully, the next check-in I got is, like, a time lapse of some sort. Maybe we'll make a cup of coffee. Also, I realized that I had this injury... And so what happened, I don't know if I said earlier, I was curling my hair um, and I caught myself with the curling iron twice. But one of the times I did it, it was, I must have had it on my hand long enough that it caused like a welt. I was looking at it and I realized this is going to scar. <laughs> and I'm so sad about it because like, I don't know, I knew I, I never was going to be a hand model, but because like these, these fingers are a little on the chubby side but like oh come on uh, bummer i'm literally living in like a disaster zone <laughs> look at all of this all of this the ladder's still up the pc walls have only been partially moved because we are on crunch time mode literally nothing but the day to day gets done so that means clutter for now it's nothing's dirty it's just clutter clutter for now until we finish this track Hi, my name is Sarah Sutton, and it has been a long time since we've chatted. How have you been? Good? It has been a hot minute since we've checked in. Ah, wow. Wow. So, I don't know what this vlog looks like. I don't know what you are getting clip-wise. I don't know what's going on in this vlog. I haven't edited it yet. Uh, wow. I haven't edited it, did, 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 did it yet. I'll probably do that tonight slash tomorrow morning, which is a Monday morning. Um, so listen, let's chit chat about the fact that we haven't been posting. We haven't been vlogging. We have just been living on the couch editing. That's literally all I've been doing. I literally have nothing else to my life right now but sitting on that couch over there and editing. It probably has a Sarah Sutton sized indentation in the cushions. I've been living there. <sighs> there comes a point where you gotta look at the situation in front of you and say, I have to be more intentional about things and some things are gonna have to fall on the wayside while I get this ish done. Now listen, I didn't I didn't intend, and I didn't start out to, to not vlog. However, a few things happened. My vlog clips became increasingly repetitive of me sitting in the same spot telling you, I edited it last night, I edited it last night, I edited it a little bit this morning, but I'm gonna edit more tonight. Like, like it was, it was actually driving me insane the amount of times I was saying the same thing every single time I sat down. And the thing is, I film here. So like, I don't even film anywhere else. It was the same position, same angle, telling you the same thing over and over again. There's only so many times I can do that with coffee clips in between that I was literally losing my mind. I don't remember what day it was, but I feel I sat down to film something and I cried. I bawled, I started, I started bawling, I started crying. And I'm like, and, and I, I just felt so overwhelmed 
with like the fact that I had so much edits left to do. I'm like, I have to edit this YouTube video, still have to film it. I am just failing at everything that I'm doing. And so I told myself, you know what? We can't feel like that. We can't feel like a failure. So let's just cut things from our plate to make it easier so we don't feel like a failure. So that's why the vlogs were not existent last week. Well, technically Mondays didn't happen because I had no Wi-Fi. Fridays happened because it was my choice. I'm still, tr you see these? I still want to move them to their final home, but I haven't yet because I have to get this draft done. So let's talk about that, shall we? I am finally close to finishing this, this. Okay, so let me, let me explain this to you. We'll see if you can follow me. Try to keep up. I wrote a first draft. I wrote a first draft up until page 300, okay? Then I dove back into editing a draft. So I started a new draft called draft two. And I copy and paste it from draft one on draft two. And I got to page 248 of copy and pasting from 300 before I decided to go back to the beginning of draft two and work my way back down again, fixing the big things that I wanted to fix, be fixed, like the, the developmental stuff. So now we are on page 234 of 248 editing through this draft too. So we still have about 50-ish pages to copy and paste back into draft two to edit through. And then we still have the ending to write. Now I know what you're thinking. You, that's a lot, Sarah. You got a lot to do. You're wrong. You're right, but I wish you were wrong. However many words to draft still. It's a lot of stuff to do. It's a lot of work. However, I'm no quitter. I also have literally, like I said, I've been doing this day, night. We have that we've been doing nothing but this editing. I, I I've had client work one day, I think maybe two. I don't know. So I I had client work at some point. I haven't done anything else. I had a day off yesterday to preserve the mental health, but we're back at it today. It's six o'clock now. I have a live stream for Patreon starting at seven. So we will be working on that for night tonight at seven. I'm gonna have me a cup of coffee now. But I wanted to just come and check in because like, where did Sarah Sutton go? She's not posting for a week and she had no like, we didn't talk about it. I didn't post about it because my community tab. I just, I just disappeared and said, see ya when I see ya. I will say, one of my least favorite things about YouTube and social media and content to being online in general is the fact that when I don't meet my deadlines, my self-imposed deadlines, it's public knowledge. When I feel stressed and overwhelmed, it's public knowledge. When I feel like I'm failing at something, guess what? It's public knowledge. It's not fun to feel like a failure in front of people. I felt like a failure for, you know, a little bit. And I, I just, I just, I just needed a break. And that's not to say I won't take another one in the future. YouTube right now, for me, I'm treating it as, you know, I want to give you guys good content, but then I stress, like, oh my gosh, I'm in the same angle, the same position, same talk, the same, the same things. It's not interesting. People are going to hate it. But, but we, I can't have that stress right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. We're kind of crazy right now. We've, we're, we've kind of gone crazy. I think you can tell. We, I, me, Sarah Sutton, I'm not my normal subdued self. But I think my normal subdued self I think this is me normal. I want to say, I, th I, th I think this is me normal. I'd say this is me normal. I feel, like, I feel like my old vlogs used to have this energy to me where I was like, yeah, we're, I don't know. But then I, I started to get subdued, quiet, you know, not talking about a whole lot. It's because we're stressed. I'm still stressed, but I've, I've come to a realization. I will post what I will post. And that is that. Someone said my frontal lobe has, has developed I'm like, you know what? I'm 25. It did. It all of a sudden clicked. And I have gotten to the point where I can't stress over things that, you know, like, I, there's only so much that I can stress about. And I don't want YouTube to be one of them. I don't want YouTube to be one of them. I want YouTube to be fun. I want YouTube to be, you know, a fun space, fun community that we have. I don't want to worry about somebody watching this and hating it. I don't want to worry about somebody watching this and thinking, She's filmed in the same position for three separate clips. I want to make content that I feel proud of, that I enjoy, that I am excited to make. And so if that means missing an upload, 
If that means publishing one video a week, that's what it means. And that's probably just for right now too because I am just like, I'm literally <laughs> trying to finish this book. <laughs> it's very hard. It's not hard, it's going well. It's going well. I just, it's going slow. I don't know if this clip made sense. I feel like it's a little bit more chaotic energy than what you're used to. Um, but, you know, the chaotic energy feels more like me than serious. This clip feels like old Sarah Sutton. This clip feels like the Sarah Sutton that I felt like I lost months ago that I thought I would never see again. She feels like me. And that's cool. So, we will see how this vlog looks. And I... I, it is what it is, for now. I think with any sort of social media, you have to be very, very careful in the thought process behind it. Otherwise, I think it's very easy to get overwhelmed with the thought of like, I have to make content people will enjoy. Do you know what I mean? Like, because like, yes, I have to make content people will enjoy. However, I didn't start my YouTube channel with that mindset. I started my YouTube channel with I love this content, I'm going to make this content. And I started my YouTube channel with so happy and with writing and writing so much and all this stuff. And then I think YouTube switched into a thing where I'm like, okay, I have to do this to make sure people enjoy it. It's like, yeah, you want people to enjoy the content you make, but like you also, you also have to enjoy the content you make. You also have to feel happy making that content. If I am in a bad mood, why am I filming? Because I feel like I have to, because I feel like if I don't update you guys, like, I'm failing as a YouTuber. What? What? I'm not a YouTuber. I'm an author. That is my first priority forever and always. Yes, YouTube, I make money off of it. However, if you're part of my, my self-publishing tier on Patreon, you know how much money I'm making on YouTube. It's like a hundred bucks a month. Yes, it's a hundred dollars a month. Yes, a hundred dollars a month is great. Is a hundred dollars a month gonna, gonna do much? It's gonna pay a bill? Sometimes, like, well, let's let's use the spoon theory method thing where, like, the spoons are the energies that you use and you, you, to do a task, you have to give up a spoon. Everything right now, all of my spoons, I got a lot of spoons. All of my spoons are to this book, to editing. So, Instagram gets no spoons. YouTube is not getting any spoons. It's, it, it's just all of my spoons have to go to editing this book because it has to get done. And sometimes... That's just how it has to go. That's how the cookie has to crumble. I anticipate once I finish this book, once it is off to my editor, we have some breathing room to actually live life and clean our apartment again. But for now, we are in like the stage of limbo where my sanity is in question a little bit, but we are no longer dreading the day. We're living for it. Anytime you watch somebody on YouTube and their life is like mine, where I literally vlog like so much of my life, like y'all, I vlog. And we, we used to have too many lifestyle vlogs, remember that, remember that? So I feel like when you're watching YouTube and it's somebody's life, you see the ups and downs and you're riding with them on that journey. But when you're the person going through the ups and downs and people are watching you, oh my gosh, does it suck. When I'm not happy with the content and I post it anyway, you know what that does? lowers our self-esteem, makes us feel worse about ourselves, and that is not okay. I wanna feel happy with what I'm posting. I wanna feel good about what I'm posting. I wanna feel good about when I actually make it. Why am I sitting down literally after I have spent 10 minutes crying? There's a clip in this camera right now. I, cr I was sobbing, and I cleared it up, sat down, filmed the clip. <sighs> Live stream is finished. Um, we just finished. Why? Why? I think I had just gotten an unhealthy. Oh, we need, we need spinach in here. What am I doing? I lost sight of what I want to vlog, what kind of content I want to make. At this point, I do think I'm rambling. But I think I'm rambling about important stuff, so. All that to say, I'm still here. I'm still working on my book. We just needed a little bit of a break to get our priorities straight. And we are going from there. Thank you for bearing with me. Hopefully we can still create some good content though. Hopefully some of the vlog clips that are on this camera are salvageable. However, if not, then we will start fresh. Hi, hey, hello. At this point, I think I'm just going to upload like a massive vlog of the whole editing process because I haven't posted on YouTube for two weeks now. Life's been crazy over here. 
I haven't been uploading mostly because um, there's been some health issues in my family um, and the days that I usually edit and post um, coincide with days that attention is needed elsewhere so that has been a reason. Another reason is I'm not vlogging at all because I am trying to go full send on this book and I'm getting very, 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 very close. And I know you're probably like, sorry, you've said this already. So I think what this is going to do is we're going to make like a little, I don't know how long it's going to be. So we're going to make a like, I don't want to say movie because it's not going to be that long, but like a little video, long video of the whole process from whenever I started this to when we finish. So, yeah, that's the plan. It is currently Friday the 19th. Um, I went for a walk today. Bomi and I visited my grandparents today. Um, so now we are very close to the um, dominoes falling, which if you remember when I drafted this book, I talked about the dominoes. Do you need to go outside? Is that why you're looking at me? One second. When I drafted this book, I talked about dominoes falling and how... Like one sort of scene sets everything into motion and I'm getting very close to editing that part of the book. Um, so we love that for us. I love that for me. I think we'll get to it tonight because I have plenty of time to work tonight because I took a nap, a very good nap, and it was amazing. So I'm trying to, what is the word? <laughs> like when you put all of your energy into something, but like you do it wisely, like you're trying to prioritize for your just is important right now and really the book is important and family is important so that just means um not vlogging as much and posting 24 i turned 25 last week last tuesday 24 was the absolute worst year of my life and i pushed myself so 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 hard at 24 for 24 the whole year um and i'm trying to do better about it for 25. It's not off to the best start, <laughs> but and I hope when this video comes out, you enjoy it because I think it's gonna be a doozy. Because I know I filmed clips, but I have no idea when I started to film and when I didn't post, when I stopped posting. Come along with me on the journey. I, I put my CD up and I'm starting to move my photo cards. I'm doing a few photo cards a day. I told myself that I wasn't going to do it until I finished and then it was taking me too long to finish this book and I'm like, you know what, we need a little bit of happiness and if moving our photo cards brings us happiness, that's what we're going to do. So I moved some. We have a few left. I'll show you. Quite a few left. But look how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I put, you can't quite see, I don't think there are fairy lights up there. Uh, when the, when it's dark out, I'll show you. Also, I did wash my hair yesterday, but I sweated on the walk, so like, it's kind of gross if you saw how greasy it looked. That's why. I swear I'm not falling apart. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like this is a little bit of a stark difference from how I was in the last clip because I do know in the last clip I was feeling great. I was feeling really, really good. What day was that? Sunday? So it was really before all the family health issues started occurring. <laughs> we are still chugging along. Hey, hi, hello. It's also morning. Um, It is 8.20. I went to bed last night at 3, and my alarm always goes off every day at 8, but last night, I'm like, uh-huh, I'm looking ahead, I'm going to turn it off, put my eye mask on, um, so the sun wouldn't wake me up. Yeah, well, but my body was very much so used to waking up at 8 o'clock, so when 7.57 rolled around, guess who woke up and was like, I am not falling back to sleep? Me. I will say, though, I got a lot... I got a lot done last night. The big domino thing I got to, I got to. And I have actually two more scenes to write until I am done with what I have. And then I have the ending to write. The ending, honestly, is like the makeup scene and then her deciding what she's going to do for her future. So it's like probably 10% left after this. I thought we resumed. We looked a little zoomed. It's probably 10% left to write. And then we're going to go back to the beginning and fix all the brackets that I had included. I included a few, but they weren't like major ones. It was kind of like, go back and make him more optimistic. And so it's like things like little things throughout that I need to like trickle in. Trickle in? I don't know. Long time no check-in. It is 12.20 um, Tuesday night. Typically Wednesday morning. But 24th is Wednesday, so the 23rd. I don't know. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I have been busy with a injured poop puppy
You can see it right there. <sighs> I am coming on because I just finished an editing session and I wanted to finish the manuscript tonight, but I am not, I can't figure out this ending. I think, I mean, I think if, if I had one thing structurally that I just don't know, it is this ending. It is just like, I don't know how to block it. I don't know how to scene block it. So much needs to happen that I'm like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> So, don't know if I'm going to actually finish it, finish it, or send it to my editor and be like, help. Um, I wanted to have it fully finished, but I guess it is what it is. Also, the wall in its full glory. Ah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, I did it days ago. I don't, I don't remember what day it's been. It's been days. That wall is sad. You are also sad, aren't you? Very sad. Oh. She got fixed yesterday. So we are all spayed and secure now, aren't we? No puppies in this household. I'm sorry, I won't film you. I know, the cone of shame. I won't film you. I'm gonna work tomorrow morning, so I will probably have one more up, probably will have one more update. Okay, well, you have made it to the end of the video. Where the next is the final update. And did we finish? <clears throat> Endings are hard for me, okay? They're hard for me. So I'll be honest, I didn't write the full ending. I think this is something that I have realized. I just, this is the one aspect of my book that I think developmentally I cannot figure out because there is so much that has to happen and get wrapped up. And so what I'm doing now is I have finished what I have finished. I'm reading through it one more time to finish up those little last brackets. If by some miracle we have an inspiration lightning strike, I will finish the ending and send it off to the editor. Otherwise, I'm just gonna send it. But today is April 24th and I have officially finished like the majority of it. It's just the last, I wanna say the last 5,000 words, 10,000 max is what is missing. But I just, I don't think how I have it right now with everything that needs to get wrapped up is going to be done well if I just shove it all into the last 10,000 words. We're gonna hope that inspiration strikes as I'm doing this final read through, but if not, my hope, hopefully my editor will help me out here, which is a little bit scary because <sighs> tomorrow's title reveal and title reveal means pre-order and pre-order means Amazon gods are now aware of this book's existence. So I have harder deadlines to now meet. It's scarier. But honestly, I'm excited for it and I'm excited to see what you guys think of the title review. For those of you who are on Patreon, you already know what it is. Um, but tomorrow, April 30th, is when I'm going to be formally announcing it on Instagram. So be sure you're following me over there at Sarah Sutton Books. So yeah, hopefully by the time you're watching this, it's finished. It's off to the editor. Everything's fine and super and dandy. I'm filming this video a little bit in advance, so um, ideally, I would have loved to have one final update for you guys in a few days from now, but I'm not sure what the video schedule is going to be looking like from here forward. I have got um, some tough things going on in my life right now that have been a little bit hard to juggle, but I think now that I'm easing off of going so hard with this edit, I might be able to find some more time to vlog. Vlogging just took a bit of a back burner these, these past few weeks. I vlogged when I could, but I just couldn't stick to an uploading schedule or an editing schedule. So moving forward, hopefully we will have videos. Um, I'm thinking maybe once a week now from for a few weeks. Um, but I can't, I'm not gonna commit to anything. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa down in the description box below. Don't miss out. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sending me these beautiful necklaces. I am super excited to start wearing them, especially the little flower one is so stinking cute. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, this video, I'm sure it's very long. I'm sure it's very long. I haven't edited it yet. I'm nervous too, to be honest. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and stick around. I'll be here, um, I'll be back. I don't think this is like a full, full break, but I also don't know when the next video is going to be, if it's going to be Friday or if it is going to be Wednesday. I'm thinking if I start doing the one uploads a week, they will be on Wednesdays. That is just my thought process. So thank you for hanging with me. And hopefully the next time we chat, we will all be having a beautiful month of May. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of 10 Young Dark Romance books, soon to be one New Dark Romance book. Check out the title reveal tomorrow. Don't miss out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!